So a lot of people today talk about the law of attraction um, without even understanding the law of vibration. That's why in this video, I wanted to um, give you an explanation, a very simple explanation and how it's not so woo-woo and out there so that everybody can understand. And when you understand this principle, actually, it will help you to actually manifest what you want faster. But before we get into it, show real hit it What's up guys, this is Sri Akashana here, Namaste to all. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the law of vibration. And I don't think this is talked about enough, but this is actually the core of what law of attraction actually is. So let's start from this. And it'll be nice if you guys have a notepad to actually write this down, because then your um, not just your conscious mind will log it in, then your subconscious mind will log it in. You can subconsciously manifest using these principles. Okay. If not, type the comments, type in the comment section below the, your, your learnings that will help reaffirm also. Okay. So the first thing is to, well, what, I, what I want you to write down is energy is everything and everything is energy. Right. A deep inhale, slow exhale. Now, this is just very, very simple science. Energy is everything. Everything is energy. What does that mean? It means that everything you see around you is energy, right? Everything that is in existence is energy. You are energy. Light is energy, right? Every, even a solid form is energy. Everything is energy. So energy, everything is made of particles in that sense, right? This is all science. Now, then is to understand in science, what do we learn about energy? Energy travels in waves. So again, I'd like you to write that down. Energy travels in waves, meaning there's an up down sequence and waves are called also called vibrations because it's jumping up and down. There's the vibration. So actually, even when you see something and it looks like it's not moving, in, within it, there's particles, they're moving. So vibrations are actually happening to keep that thing in place, right? It's just, it may be on a smaller scale. So you can't see the vibration, that's all. So when we understand that energy is everything, everything is energy, that means everything is. Then we understand everything is vibration. Even the thing that you can't see is moving, is moving. Thought is what? Thought is also vibration. Right? Idea is what? Idea is also vibration. So everything is vibration. Now, write in the notes, everything is vibration. Then when we understand that, if everything is vibration, now science also tells us that vibrations, whether it's positive or negative, attract positive or negative. Vibrations have the ability to attract and detract. So actually, when we talk about the law of vibration, it's actually the core of the law of attraction. Because when people say the law of attraction isn't working for them, that is a false statement by itself. It's not, it, it can't be true because it's the law of attraction. It's just so similar that actually in, in the weekend when we were um, in London and we were at Superpower Live at the event, there was one gentleman who asked, um, how can you prove that law of attraction uh, is working? Right? Actually, because everything is a vibration, everything is energy and energy connects to energy. So actually I said, I smile. And then he awkwardly smiles. <laughs> and then I said, that's law of attraction. So when we come to understand the law of vibration, what is the key to getting what we want? And the key is to be of the vibration that we want to attract. 
that's why there's so many sayings saying change yourself right change your reality change your mindset change your reality change your words change your reality change your network change your reality actually it's all talking about the same thing it's saying change your vibration then when you become the vibration of what you want to attract then the things will come your way so just to give a couple of examples just to finish off if you are wanting to attract love and you are like why is it not coming my way yet what is your vibration is it in abundance of love or is it in scarcity of love and if it's in scarcity and in lack of love then you won't be attracting love in your life at that time if you are saying i want to attract more money why is money not coming my way law of attraction doesn't work what is your vibration right and by the way you hearing this might be like this is simple i knew this already but my question is are you practicing it and not on a conscious level i'm saying are you practicing it on a subconscious level do doubts and fears still come up do you see your own shit sometimes just come out like that and if you do how do you deal with it so for that on the subconscious level your subconscious vibrational frequency then needs reprogramming guys if you got anything out of this video at all or maybe it's just give you a little bit more clarity then please do hit the thumbs up hit the like button also comment below let us know your views your experiences share them with everybody because then maybe other people can learn from it too and let us know where you guys have tuned in from that's always nice to know and finally if you're new to this channel and you haven't already remember remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it that's that little bell sign by the way because this year i'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet but for now guys namaste and ciao